Hey guys, so about a month ago on Instagram, a page that apparently many people that follow me also follow posted this photo right here and I got tagged in it and sent this photo a couple dozen times I think by now. <laughs> it's a picture of Marie Doro who is I think marked as my historical twin most often <laughs> and yeah it is a really gorgeous photo and so many of you guys really wanted me to try and recreate this so I'm gonna try it today. I have already done a photo of Marie Doro it's one of my favorites, honestly. I think it's turned out really nice. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous photo. It's very romantic, it's very feminine. It's gonna be quite hard for me to do because there are a few elements in this that I am a little bit worried about. That's why I didn't choose this photo the first time I was doing a picture of Marie Doro. Firstly, the hair. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. She has that kind of curl wave going on that I don't really know how to do. <laughs> but I'm just gonna try it. Also, the outfit and the flower thing situation that's going on. I might have to use a different type of foliage and flowers but yeah we'll see how close I can get. I, I'll be happy if I can capture the essence of the photo. I think I'm gonna start with the makeup. It's pretty minimal makeup I think again on her. This is a photo from 19... 1902 maybe? Yeah I don't think she's wearing a lot except for some eyeshadow and lipstick. So let's take care of that first. There are a few things I want to tackle in order to make the difference between her and me a little bit smaller. First I'm just going to apply a little layer of a light coverage foundation just to make sure my skin is evened out. I do think uh, that's going to wash out in the editing anyway but you know, while I'm at it might as well. <laughs> I'm also going to try and get the lighting right this time. That is usually really hard to do but this is an indoor photo in a studio setting, so it should be a little bit easier to manipulate the light. The first thing that's really different between us is the shape of the eyebrows. Well, I'm not actually sure if this is her natural eyebrow or if it's just the way it is drawn because I know that in this time period, stage makeup was done like that by just drawing a line straight through the eyebrow and it looks like that could be going on in her eyebrow as well because it starts pretty low in a point and then it kind of gets wider towards the center and ends in a point again so I'm gonna try and recreate that look I'm gonna do it a little bit more subtly <laughs> than drawing a blunt line through everything so I don't want to go too crazy with this and then her brows are really quite dark so I'm gonna fill mine in as well same thing on this side there we go. So for the eyes themselves, I'm gonna go around them with a dark eyeshadow. I think I'm just gonna use a brown, this one right here. And it's quite simple. The makeup in this time period was quite basic, especially stage makeup. So you really kind of just want to accentuate all of the facial features. I'm gonna do the bottom lash line as well, quite heavily. So I feel like that's what really makes her eye look, the heavy shadow beneath her eye. The last thing for the eyes is I'm going to apply a little bit of a highlight on the inner tear duct. That's another very kind of distinct feature of hers that you can see in most of her photographs. And it definitely helps make the eye shape look more like hers. I do think her lips are a little bit thinner than mine. I'm actually just going to start with a little bit of concealer so that I can change the shape. I think a true red or a deeper red would have looked darker on the photograph, so I'm going to go with this slightly mid-tone to darker pink and try and recreate that lip shape. Last thing I'm going to do is just some subtle contouring around the jawline to make my face look a little bit more square on the bottom. So my face is just a touch more heart shaped maybe than hers I think. But I feel if I do this I should be able to approach that a more square jawline a bit more. I think that's it for the makeup so let's move on to hair. First things first, I washed my hair a few hours ago and as you can see, this isn't gonna work for this hairstyle. So I'm gonna load it up with dry shampoo and sea salt spray first and hope that it gives me a little bit more grip and texture um, and a little bit more of that gray look. 
that I really need to rock this hairstyle. Now for the Cecil spray. Okay, I think that's a lot better already. So next up, I am going to curl my hair. And I'm a little bit unsure what size curling iron to use for a wave like that, but I'm just gonna go with this one and hope for the best. I am going to curl all of my hair because I need that volume on top as well. I am going to pin curl my curls. I think just to make them a little bit stronger and more durable so whenever I finish a curl I'm gonna take a bobby pin and just pin the curl down and I'm gonna do that all along my head. It's gonna take a while so I'm gonna do this off camera and I will come back when all of my hair is curled. Alright my hair is curled and I've given it a few minutes to completely cool down so now I'm gonna take the curls down again and start working on this hairstyle that I'm still a little bit terrified of. Basically, we want to make this as big and frizzy as possible with that beautiful little wave on the side. Which side? Yeah, this side. <laughs> Try that. I'm gonna separate this with my fingers first. And then I'm gonna run a brush through my hair and that should make it nice and fluffy. So we want a big kind of wave on this side. I think I'm gonna start doing some teasing here. And now for this bit. Oh, to try and create that wave. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. I don't think it's gonna work. And I think my curl is too big. I think I should have used the smaller one after all. Oh, and also the curls don't exactly line up here, so. That makes it a bit harder to do as well. I can't do it, guys. I just, I can't. Nope, I, I have to give up here. I don't know how to make a curl do that. <sighs> I have been asked actually in the past um, about hairstyles that I just cannot do. One of them, finger waves. The other thing is this. I, it, I mean, this is pretty much finger waves, but on the length of hair. This type of curl turned wave is just something I cannot wrap my head around and I cannot replicate it. I have watched countless tutorials on YouTube, can't do it. When I do the same technique, nothing happens. As for the flowers, I have this that kind of goes close and that is pretty much it, honestly. And I definitely don't have enough of it to cover my hair and clothing. I think it's time to move on to the outfit. Robert came up with the brilliant idea of making some flowers out of paper and I actually found some foliage that I could use so yeah <laughs> And the accessories and things weren't as bad as I had feared so it is time to look through the photos do the editing process and get to the final result let's go through the photos and see if there's one that's really good yeah this is the one I think first of all I'm gonna get rid of that line that I have in the back here. Just smooth out my forehead wrinkles. <laughs> Not because I don't want to show my wrinkles, but she has a bit of a different facial expression and the wrinkles make it more surprise concern. Oh, and of course, need to get rid of that birthmark there. I want to try and give myself a little bit more hair first. Can I do that? Okay, you can tell I'm not the best at <laughs> Photoshop, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah, let's do 
the black and white and I'm gonna play with the contrast a bit. cheating a bit but I'm gonna try and just lift that corner of the mouth up a little bit I kind of want to try and do a texture on the back here um, like she has on the background oh wow that is wow that's creepy okay um, <laughs> This is my end result, guys. The perfectionist in me will never be happy, never satisfied. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that curl that I couldn't do it, but all in all, I think this is a really nice sweater. I think I actually came pretty close, much closer than I expected when I was doing the hair and makeup. I think it's just a really nice sweater in general, so I'm quite happy with it. It was a lot of fun to do as well, again, and I'm just very happy with the results. So I hope you enjoyed watching this guys if you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content if you would like to support me through patreon or my merch store there'll be links in the description box below thank you so much for your support there is another video here that i think you might also enjoy you can go watch next thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye